hello there welcome back to my channel thank you so much for giving this video a click if you're new here my name is betty odrumosu and in today's video i would be taking you through my day as a guest on radio as some of you already know i am a radio presenter and most of the times when i go on air i go as a presenter but today i would be going as a guest on a show and so as you must have seen the day started with god and then this is me checking out my outfit and how I look as I prepare to set out for the day. It was quite a sunny afternoon and I had to wait a few minutes for me to get the ride that was going to my destination. Finally, I got one and um, yeah, I was enjoying the breeze and comfort of the ride. It was quite a very smooth journey and I had no stress at all. Um, this was me at the destination, which is the Bright Broadcasting Limited House, where the Shining Supreme Station, Diamond FM, is located in Car State here. And if you do ask me, it is the number one radio station here in Car State. Take my word for it. <laughs> Being on radio as a guest can be scary and being with asking for someone who hasn't been on radio before but in reality it's quite very fun and interesting if you are able to follow some of the tips i'm about to share with you the first thing i would say is get to the studio early running in late would only add to the tension and anxiety that you already feel before you went into the studio so get there early as it would help you to be relaxed and also it helps you to get familiar with the presenters they are able to you know probably give you a script beforehand to you know guide your thoughts if you weren't given one before also i would say be comfortable with whatever you are going to be talking about whatever subjects you have been given to talk about you need to be very comfortable in you know talking about it because if you're not comfortable you are not going to be confident and this was me preparing for the show that was going to be going live for the topic was on body shaming and body acceptance if you are not new on this channel you already know that i have a video on body shaming up on the channel already so you can check it out later and i'm also quite glad that i get to talk about this on air with the larger audience and it was really good enjoy snippets from the interview please feel though the voices are eager to come out let's start with a little introduction good afternoon ladies Good afternoon, Mahmoud. Introduce yourself from the right. Okay, I am Salama Bello. I am Salama Bello. Um, I am Betty Odumosu. Yeah, I'm saying say I don't know what is missing from the episode. It's the ladies' affairs on campus affairs anchored by a man. So let's dive into the conversation properly. The topic is body shaming and body acceptance. And I think this um, this affects the lady more than the men in the society mm -hmm. so we'd like to get your point about some interesting um ideas about the whole thing so what does this entail from a lady's perspective body shame let's get let's have the thought about it all right um, I, would, I would like to start with the fact that women now female naturally we have been a kind of landmark like sexualized in some kind of way so you have to look a certain way before you can be attractive and please the other gender so that is just how what i mean the roots of all i mean this body shaming started from and at the same time if you look a certain way and a, the other gender or even a female a female like yourself like you do you do not meet the standard they will try to bring you down so um betty do you have anything contrary to what she said um uh, nothing contrary i'm just going to um add to what she has said well body shaming i would say is what is used to describe um the feeling of and the feeling a person goes through when someone tries to make them feel insecure about their body type or some certain part of their body so body shaming body shaming from a lady's perspective just like Samata said is you know a lady being um put down as a result of not meeting um society's standard of what beauty should be you know as a society um a, a standard has been set up on how a lady should look like and if as a lady you do not fit into that standard then people see a problem with that and people tend to they, they tend to forget that variety is the spice of life like if everybody is the same way 
like what's the what's the beauty in no, it not, at all? Not so actually the same, not actually the same. They just want some any, specific they, they want thing a specific about thing. you to change, which uh, you, they should not is. is, and that is their own definition. So don't let it get to you. This is who you have. Own it, claim it, and be proud of it. Yeah, and I would also even say I think there's a thin line between um parents you know saying that they are just making you know they are stating the obvious and mm. body shaming mm. i believe that you stating the obvious because some people will say oh it's not body shaming i'm only stating the obvious okay say a person is short and if i call you a short person does that mean i'm body shaming mm. you no know, the thing line there is the moment you begin to make that person feel uncomfortable and um insecure about that particular feature you are beginning to body shame the person thank you so much for watching to the end of this video i do hope you found it useful my name is betty odomoso see you in my next video Bye bye